All right, so welcome back. I got the most of the plumbing done for the Cetus. So there's my four inch main shut off. Obviously going into the back of the Cetus. Coming up, pulling out. Obviously none of this stuff's level yet as far as this. This is where I'm gonna go through there with a uh, um, with a four inch seal and that's when I'm going to drill two holes out of here and I'm going to come out of there with two sump pumps I already have them I think they're like 20 2800 gallons per hour or something like that they're actually in use in my other pond where well they're in my other pond my only pond where the fish are at the moment so I'll just get that to a point to where it's ready. And then from there, I'm gonna pump out to two separate places. I'm gonna pump half of it into that, I don't know if you can see it, into my Tempest over here. And then the other half is gonna go into this pressure filter. And then the pressure filter is gonna come out into this gravel filter and the tempest is basically going to repeat this same filtration system right here i'm just gonna scoot it over there just like that i'll probably what i think i'm going to do is weld together a rack to fold these out over the pond because the problem I'm having is it's dribbling back and it's really making a mess. I mean, it's not a horrible leak, but it's enough to like make a muddy mess. And, and I don't want that in my sump pump area. And you can actually see the problem I'm having is because this is going on right now, it's causing water to run down there and it's kind of making it a chore when I'm down there because the the dirt that I need to compact is actually too wet and so it won't compact well so I got as much of that out of the way as I can and as you can see there's a bunch over here dried out so what I'm going to do is once I'm done and this ready to put the liner the underlayment in and the liner in what I'm going to do is pack moisten this up fill all those voids in over there obviously like, this is all going to be done already and uh once i get to that point i think what i'm going to do is put together some kind of like divert uh to deviate the um, to divert the water just that way maybe like a bunch of two by fours just to stop it from getting under it, maybe put some pond liner under it because I have a bunch of scrap uh, EPMD liner. Just cut it almost like a gasket and set the liner down and put some weights on it. That way it'll stop majority of this water from coming this way and into the pond because I don't want those voids behind the liner like that. Anyways, that's where I'm at. So, uh, God, this has been a big, big job with the shovel. I did end up paying someone to come out here and dig half of this with a backhoe just because 45 years old man working a shovel for that many hours is uh, not something I really care to do and for the few hundred dollars I got charged to do it it was well worth my time well a little luck I'm hoping to be done and moving the fish in not this weekend but the following weekend that's where I'm at right now. So, four inch pipe in, two, um, I think they're inch and a quarter flex lines, the ones that come off the sump pumps. I believe it's inch and a quarter. There might be one inch and a quarter, inch and a half. And then so, basically everything's gonna be right here. There's gonna be one PVC pipe um, coming off of this. So I'll have to get one of those half inch flex to, um, so I can go 
uh, flex tubing here and then get one of those uh, adapters like this where I can plug it into PVC. I, I forget what they're called offhand. I actually bought one for that setup over there. And then I can run this directly into the bottom of that with a two inch hose, or I'm sorry, a two inch pipe right up the bottom. Actually the, the uh, they're gonna come in right from that two inch hole right there. That was a bulkhead fitting from my other uh, filtration box on the old pond. So I'm just gonna use that same hole and I'll just put a trench right there and out. And then I'll just tunnel from somewhere like right here over. And this will all be gone because this is just here to keep my mom's dog out of it. We don't want a little poochie falling in the pond now. But that's where we're at. Anyways, well, um, appreciate you guys watching and uh, hope you guys have a great day. Until the next video, out. Wow.